smells good too. Okay, so once you get a nice, like, good apple, see that guy's yeah, the ball there? Ah, oh, it's nice. Good. Okay, so now what you want to do is it. You want to go not too thin. That's good. That's good, Luke, right there. And you want to kind of try to keep it as round as possible. Okay, so just like this. That's okay. It's a good scrape. Okay, now, guys, so this is called the plancha, the, the, or the, the tortilla. Put those two next to it. There you go. Okay. So, like, if you don't uh, brown it first, it's really sticky and hard. Now that it's like this, right, it's really easy to do. Finger, your index, and you kind of squeeze it, not too hard, just like this, around. Uh huh. You can kind of spin it. There you go. Okay, keep going around. And you're sort of also, you want to do is you're going to kind of push down the center as you go. Awesome. No, that's good. You, the cool thing about this is sometimes when they get big like this, guys, and sometimes they'll do tiny little little guys, and we do this for like tray pass orders. So, so take it like this, anyway. Spin it and kind of pinch it. So let's do this one here. Yeah. Yeah. A nice little boat. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna. That's good. We got Levi's little tugboat over here. All right, now, guys, put this one here. Let's take this off. Okay. Now you know what? You want to do this one too? But you know what? First, what time it is? It's time to fry them up. You guys ready to do this? Let's go. All right, let's open this. We're going to put them right in the middle of this basket here. And then we're going to deep fry them for about, uh, about 40 seconds. Make sure they're totally submerged in the oil. Nice and fried, deep fries. They're gonna get brown, yummy. You want to find the, the happy medium between like 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 a light brown and kind of still like cooked, but still crunchy. Okay. Put them over here. Cool. So look at these. Like, now they're hard. Kind of like now they're hot. Careful, but they're nice and hard, and they're ready to be filled. Cool. Okay. Awesome. All right. Next step is gonna be filling these up, you guys. It was like the most fun part is filling them, garnishing them, and then eating them. Okay, so this, first of all, these are like these really cool pea sprouts. You see the these bottoms here? These are actually peas, and we're gonna make a vegetarian one as well. So we're gonna kind of garnish them with this, which is really cool. So we've got black beans, we've got refried beans, we've got chicken tinga, we've got al pastor, we've got our carne asada, we've got carnitas, we've got so many different choices. Yeah. That's perfect. Shoot, anyone? Yeah. Good job. And then one more scoop. Awesome. On that one, yeah, good idea. Okay, I'm gonna do Al Pastor on these black beans because I like Al Pastor and black beans, kind of like a kind of like a southern Mexican sort of thing. And for the Al Pastor, guys, you should put a little bit of uh, grilled pineapple, just like that. So I'll let you guys just jump in there, guys. But just kind of grab a little like this. Put a little bit on top. All right, awesome, guys. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. And then Luke, you're gonna follow Levi. A little bit of, this is called mojo pico. Okay? Yeah, nice. it's fun using the squeeze bottle, right? That one, so Levi's going in for the carne asada. What do you go for? The alpha store with the pineapple? Are you sure? I'm kind, of, I'm kind of glad you didn't grab that, because that's the one I want. So you got the carnitas, you got the cauliflower, you got the chicken tinga. The cauliflower? It's so hard to use a uh, Okay, cool, put it here. Okay guys, so, can we get a little cheers? You guys, good job. Cheers to our first cooking class with the Thompson boys. Let's try it out. Mmm. 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 Oh, good.